Direct opposite. You want to go about 60 40 constitution for her. So. And the abilities that she has right now aren't really that useful. Uh, if you are going to use her in your party, uh, Battle Synergy is your best bet for tanking buffs. But we're going to go with Shield Bash right now. Okay. Now, this next section is the Ogre section, and positioning is a huge factor in this section. So, make sure your positioning is good. Otherwise, you will die. Pardon me. Protect Bethany. That's the trick here. Keep Bethany alive. Do your best to keep your guys alone. This section is extremely difficult because of how little damage you're going to be dealing and how I got cheap shotted there. But you can see how much damage even our tank is taking. So, if you have to, kite this dude around. Just kite the hell out of this guy if you have to. At this point when he's so low on health, you can just let your characters die if they're gonna die or not, it's fine. But, you know, just try to keep your party alive if you can at these sections in the early parts, because you will be doing so little damage, I mean... It's gonna take a while to kill a lot of the stuff, especially the shield warriors, the shielded uh, enemies, they have a lot of defense, they take a lot of damage to kill. Your tank isn't good yet, so you really have to try to help him out as best you can. <laughs> Fucking A. Oh, and now the cutscene happens. Whatever. Like I said, you're going to be hitting like a fucking girl, literally, for a long time until you get to the uh, Kirk wall. Your king. It appears fortunate. Does it matter? I oh, man. She's right, Abilene. <sighs> Too much talking already. Alright, Carver is dead. I thought that, might that dude gets killed. We ride a dragon to Kurt Wall, but not really. Alright, this next section actually has one of the harder fights in the game for this point. I mean, it's nigh impossible unless you know what you're doing. Or use a nice little trick I figured out. Alright, 
gonna skip this. And they would throw us all back to the walls. Unbelievable. So all right, Bethany is leveled up again. Now, with this level, we're actually going to give her point in willpower and two points of constitution to keep her alive a little bit longer than usual. Now, you can either go with this. Uh, you can go with heroic aura, or you can make your heal twice the twice as good. I usually go with the uh, double heal, especially with this upcoming boss we're gonna fight. Well, he's not so much a boss; it's just a random guy. Either way, okay. Here we go. All right, there's nothing else to do here in this section unless, uh, un but talk to this guy. I talk to him, blah 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 blah. We'll find some shit. But as far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. All right, so we got a big battle here. I said try to keep Bethany alive. Yeah, you should probably try to keep Bethany alive. I know you don't have a lot of abilities right now, but you gotta make do with what you got. You're gonna be hitting for little damage still. I mean, I'm hitting for 7, 6. This isn't much at all with a two-hander. 3 damage, 11. It's really inconsistent. Alright. So that encounter is over. Skip, 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 quit, quit talking. Come on, gambling. Hobble your ass out here. Not. It's the best. Either one of them. I wouldn't bring it home. All right. Last time we did a Fenrir, so this is how we're gonna do the Mercs. But make sure to get this codex here. I think that's it up here. We're gonna try to be as thorough as we can be, but also play this game very fast. Now, Fenrir is over here. We do not want to do her little quest line. It gets you a nice little piece of armor, but armor's not gonna matter. We're not gonna worry about that. We're worried about getting our weapon upgraded. We're worried about getting gold so we can get more skills. So, I was going to pick the mercenary quest. This one will give you money. And since we didn't do this last time, we will listen to this dialogue. You must be Hawk. Noise. Noise rack. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. We'll do whatever you need. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. We'll make sure no one asks why. Alright. Now, since we're Paragon, we're not going to actually try and kill him. <laughs> we're going to try to reason. 
Have you checked the courtyard again? He's still out there, but he's alone. And he's not making a move. I don't trust this. What will we do when the ship comes? Wait. He's a rogue. He's got two daggers. I to know what you're doing here. Oh, we came to talk. I want to hear what you have to say before I decide anything. Miran sent them. I'm not an idiot. I could have figured that out for myself. Look, you. I don't know what that pissant thug is paying you, but I'll double it. Just let us go. Get us into the city. What is a way into Kirkwall? What? I don't have that kind of coin. I'm having trouble leaving the damn city. So the Red Iron sent refugees after us. Ah, stinking dog lords. Kill them and send their bodies back to Miran. Now here's the trick to this fight. If you try to do this fight by yourself, you're going to find extremely fast that luck will not be on your side. Because this noble guy is a rogue and does so much damage. Not only that, he knocks down whoever he hits instantly and knocks them back. So what I found the best strategy is, is to not only tell your guys to run away, but... Here's the trick. You can get these guys involved in the fight. See what I mean by getting knocked back? Now you've got an extra few troops in your fight, so it should be easier for you to win. This is just a good little trick if you're having trouble with this guy. It takes a lot of the load off you. And not only does it, it saves you potions. Which right now, this early in the game, are actually fairly important. See, that made the quest 150 times easier than actually trying to just tank all these dudes. So that's a nice little tip if you are struggling early on. And you get some... You get five gold off his corpse. So not only do we get that, we also get some money from Mirren just for completing the quest. So that is by far the best way I've found to complete that quest chain at that time. All right. Since you don't get cleave until level six, you can skip on one of these abilities right now. You could just get this ability at level five and still get cleave at level six. So your best bet right now is to just buff what you have already. You can either go with Sunder, which gives you extra critical chance unless you stagger enemies, obviously, or you can go with Giant's Reach. Uh, I usually go with Giant's Reach at this point, so that's what I'm going to pick. Strength. Uh, we're gonna go with her. We're gonna give her one magic. And we're gonna boost her constitution two more points. We need to keep our healer alive. Now she's gonna get heroic aura. This she wants to stay consistently forever and ever. Once again, the same way. Since we can get rally, we're gonna get rally. This gives every character in your party uh, shield defense when she uses it, if she uses it. Make sure she's sustaining. Alright, now we're going to hand this quest in. Good. May the bloody vultures feast on his corpse and shit him into the ocean. Welcome to the This guy's already a badass dude. I like this character already. All right, so those are the first three bosses in the game, and I hope this helped you to learn how to better beat them and make it, those encounters seem like a complete joke. But as usual, we're going to continue on with the storyline.